Welcome back everybody. This is our 230 feeding here at the Virginia Living Museum. I'm in front of the James River exhibit. I'm going to be feeding the sturgeon. That's what I have the columns for here. But I'm going to explain to you what's in here because we're actually going to feed this entire exhibit. Uh, I'm going to feed the sturgeon first because they're actually pretty passive and these striped bass in here and the hybrids are very aggressive. So I'm going to point out a few of the fish to you. So right here, these are striped bass, which is a common fish, obviously in the Chesapeake Bay, kind of an iconic species. You have a very similar fish, although much fatter, is the um, hybrid striped bass here. So you see the difference is not only the broader, um, these guys are younger, but even so, even if they were adults, the uh, stripers would be um, longer and leaner. These hybrids are a, a hybridization of a white bass and a striped bass, and you see their stripes are more broken up at the bottom, um, kind of less linear, and again, the stockier body. So these striped bass here, uh, we'll get about 60, 70 pounds in the wild. They're a highly migratory species. They're anadromous. They come into the bay to spawn, um, usually March, April. You get trophy season is what uh, the big females coming into spawn go up to about the fall line and then move back out to the sea. And then eventually the young grow up and overwinter in the bay and move down the bay as they get older and then start to cycle all over again. So some of the other fish in here, aside from the stripers and the hybrids, there's a largemouth bass kind of swimming away from me right now, which is a very popular sport fish. Um, there's some, there's a white perch kind of hidden in there. He, he's very closely related to the striped bass. Uh, so you can see they look very similar, a little stockier, closely related to the uh, hybrid as well. So over here on the left, we have some sunfish in the back. Those are uh, black crappie. Uh, there's some smallmouth bass in the very back, and there's some really fat yellow perch back there. That's a largemouth bass that you're looking at right now. Um, so did you have a question yet? We do have a question. Alyssa, age 8, wants to know how fast the stri striped bass can swim. Well, you can see they're, they're not swimming very fast right now. They're kind of milling around. They're actually waiting for me to, to feed them, but they can swim very quickly. They're more a short burst swimmer. Um, they actually have a lot of endurance because, like I said, they're anadromous, meaning they go from the ocean to fresh water uh, when they're spawning. So they go kind of, they can go hundreds of miles. But over short bursts, they can do 20, 30 miles per hour easy. The very muscular fish. Um, so I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to try and feed the sturgeon. I haven't really mentioned him yet, but if you can see this guy in front, um, it's a short-nosed sturgeon. He's actually a threatened, endangered species. And what they would ordinarily do is what they're doing in the wild here is sifting through gravel looking for worms and small crustaceans and things like that. Maybe some uh, old fish or something that has, has died. But what we're going to feed them is something a little bit more nutritious. I'm going to open it up here and show you my food bin. So if you want to take a look at what I've got here. So I've got... This is what's called fish gel. You've probably seen this if you've seen any of our other programs. It's kind of fish meal based, but it's highly nutritious. Okay, what I've got here, these are crayfish tails. That's crayfish, it's just the meat, no shell. And then we have capelin right here. Capelin's a really highly uh, sought after kind of forage fish. So I'm gonna use my tongs here. These look like large forceps. I'm gonna try and feed 
each one of these guys individually. Like I said, the striped bass have not been fed, so they might not behave themselves. I'm gonna try and get one of the sturgeon up here so you can see them. Again, sturgeon are really interesting fish. They have soft, fleshy, fleshy mouths. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna try and attract one of them over here. So you're gonna see this guy coming up. Just stand up there. Yep, anybody coming over? All right, I might have to feed this entire exhibit. Okay, so they're not cooperating right now, so I'm gonna feed this whole exhibit. So what I'm gonna do is, is called broadcast feeding, meaning I'm gonna throw a bunch of food in here. So here you have you stand back. So if you see the striped bass, someone asked how fast they swim. You can see how fast they are when they get eating. And the sturgeon are much slower. They're along the bottom kind of sucking up food. So they'll go along there and chew on it. And you can see their soft, fleshy mouth. It actually extends quite a bit. They'll chew up the gravel and then spit it out their gills. So you can see them doing it. And uh, it's trying to get some food before the striped bass get to it. Here's another smaller one. We got these guys in uh, about 2004. And the federal government actually owns them. Um, actually, NOAA, Department of Commerce, and each one of them has a tag. Because they are a threatened endangered species, they're all individually identified. And so you see here the duration of their lives. We got them back in 2004, so they're about 16 years old. Got a question? Yes, Alyssa wants to know, do any of the fish bite? Yeah, they will bite. So you probably noticed me with the tongs. I'm going to try it again. And maybe if you'll get if you're lucky I'll get bit. Alright, I'm gonna try it here. So you see, so I'm trying to get they have very poor eyesight but an excellent sense of smell. So actually all the food all the food in the exhibit actually kind of overwhelms them. So I gotta get it right in front of their face. And they already ate a little bit, so they're not paying much attention to me. I'm trying now. Let's go over here and try this guy. See, striped bass got me. There you go. So you can see those barbells under their nose kind of like a catfish that's what they actually use to smell so they go along and smell in the gravel for food and then suck it up with that mouth and you can see them still kind of working on it they don't have teeth so they're kind of macerating out or chopping it up in their mouth yeah there you go that's our biggest one here so I don't know if you noticed in the beginning this exhibit has an open top but I don't know if you guys have heard that sturgeon jump so we actually have to put barriers up here at night because they'll jump, they can jump clear out of this exhibit. Oop. So you can see the striped bass. I might feed them just for fun. So you guys can see some stuff getting, get food. But there you go, the sturgeon being fed. So we try and get each one of these guys several pieces, but like I said, it gets pretty difficult. They're not paying attention. The striped bass are paying attention. So you got it, there you go. I'm getting kind of lucky here. I'm just going to keep feeding these guys, try and get some attention here. You know, you know. As you can see, this can get, be kind of frustrating for us to do that. The striped bass are, not, like I said, super aggressive. They're about two years old. And what we'll actually do is bring these guys up until they're too big, keep hitting them out, and keep letting them go. And then eventually we'll have maybe four or five large ones, and then we'll recycle the smaller ones so they'll be more appropriate for this tank. I'm gonna chuck the rest of the food in. Okay. I'm gonna throw the rest of the food in here if you guys don't want to watch this. You've probably seen it already, but these guys will keep eating it definitely.
I don't want to feed them much more than that because as you can see, all of them are very well fed. So we appreciate you guys coming here. And the next, our next uh, thing tomorrow morning is going to be, uh, I think we're doing an enrichment, uh, actually at the uh, trout feeding tomorrow. So thanks for joining us uh, with our Facebook Live session. Be sure to visit us virtually for our natural education on Facebook, uh, also on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And so there's always updated information on the website, so make, make sure you check that out. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you hopefully at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning for a feeding. Thanks, guys. Bye.